Hey there, my name is Aaron and I work with the Stanford Recreation and Wellness Department. Today's Fit5 video is going to be on agility dots. There are multiple uses for agility dots. Depending on your fitness goals, you can use them in, in different ways. If you're looking to increase foot speed or body control, they're great for that. If you want to do a new warm up or conditioning tool, you can use them with that. Or you can get together with the family and it's a fun activity for every fitness level. So follow along and I'll show you how to use them. This video demonstrates four common exercises with the five dot pattern. Remember, the possibilities are infinite, so don't get stuck on just what you see here today. Get creative and come up with your own patterns. You also have the freedom to put the agility dots in any pattern you would like or spacing. For this video, I use a traditional five dots with a spacing of two feet wide, three feet long, and one square in the middle. When performing these exercises, to lighten the load on the body, you can step from dot to dot. You can also jump on two feet, and if you want to increase the intensity, you can jump on that one foot. When striking the ground, you want to make sure that you're landing on the ball of your foot. Try not to land on the heel or just the tiptoes. So think the first two thirds of that foot. I hope that you found this video useful and helpful for your fitness and well-being goals. For more videos like this, please visit our website, rec.stanford.edu backslash virtual fitness. Thank you and see you again soon.